Just a fair warning, some of the content you're about to see is fairly graphic. Viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy. Buenos dias, beautiful people. Good morning. Here in Punta de Mira, picking up some onions, peppers, and tortillas because we have an exciting day ahead of us. I am with my buddy Tom. We are heading to one of his buddy's places off the beaten path on some acreage, and we're gonna go both do something that we've never done before, and that is kill a goat. Yes, you heard that right. We're gonna go kill a goat as humanely as possible. We're gonna skin it and uh, we're gonna eat it. Tom's buddy, Doug, who's been living uh, here in Mexico for 30 plus years, lives on some land. He's got an organic fruit farm, trees, vegetables, animals, living the dream. So we're gonna go help him take care of a goat and enjoy a nice meal on some nice land. shoes. I have no shoes. All I have are sandals and uh, this, is, uh, this is what we're working with. So this is going to be fun. Apparently a tree fell who knows how long ago. Doug's cutting it up right now because we can't get through. Yeah, this is, this is a little different than beach life. <laughs> We have arrived at Doug's. Rancho Douglas, La Cornucopia. Rancho what? In they put it on the map as Rancho Douglas, but I want it to be the Cornucopia because the Cornucopia is an ancient Greek myth about how the nature is saved by empathetic humans. They empathetic the humans. From Greek, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Cornucopia de Pantopi. Because this is where we love and respect nature. Love it. And, and the thing is, I told the people in Eggie, I didn't want my name on the map. I didn't want to be famous, but they said, you're already a legend. <laughs> they, they did it. Technically, they have to put my name on the map because I'm a living legend. Yeah. And, and, and so, but I had them. If you look on the map, you'll see La Cornucopia in parentheses. La Cornucopia, Rancho Douglas. <laughs> oh, this is... uh. This is real living out here. This is not. This is not the gated community on the beach. That's for damn sure. This is really cool. Come take a peek. for a mango? Two mangoes? 
whatever these things are. Wow, coconuts. This is something else, you guys. This is sweet. We are probably like two or three miles down on this dirt road. And actually this road used to be the road that went from the main highway all the way to Guadalajara. This road still can take you from all the way where we came from on the main strip all the way to Sayulita. And this is, as you saw, he was cutting a tree down that had fell who knows how long ago. So this road does not get used very often and I wouldn't want to travel on that road all the way to Sayulita. That would take forever. But this is this is this is so peaceful out here. It's so quiet. It's definitely not definitely not the beach life. That's for sure. But Doug's been living here for 30 plus years and now he lives out here by himself with a few cats. He told me that he killed a pig the other day. There was a pig walking down that street or that road that we were on and he got his rifle and he shot it. Talk about a man of the wild. Kind of envious. I don't know if I'd want to be so lonely out here all by myself, but I do love the I do love and appreciate the attitude of respecting nature and living off the land. It's pretty damn cool if you ask me in the times we're living in now. Could you see yourself living in something like this? This is pretty cool, huh, Tom? Yeah. Rancho. Rancho Douglas. Hey goats. <laughs> Who's the lucky winner today, Doug? Huh? Who's the lucky winner? So this guy over here. Because I don't want them all going outside right now. So start eating the plum trees and stuff. You see, this recognize the gun? Really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do the goats know what a gun looks like? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was buying the, the guy who was buying the uh, onions off of I said, yeah, I'm going to Douglas and we're going to go kill a goat. He goes, yeah, he's going to kill two today. He knows it, everything? because yeah, he owns a carniceria there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it would be dead if it wasn't for this little problem. That's how I had to shut my son up. Yeah, you know, goat time. I think we're just going to... I don't know why this thing... Okay. He's like, he's like, I want a friend, man. He's like, he goes, hey, you guys seem like... Yeah, guys. he gets curious, and then he, he he likes to just butt people around yeah. for the fun of it. That's what they do. It's not like he's trying to be mean, but right. his way of saying hi. Okay, I think it's going to work now. All right. Oh. Done. See, I don't like him to suffer at all. Because I still do have empathy for these yeah. animals. Don't believe it. You know? Right. I'm not going to break down and cry, but it does, you know. I think this is, this is real life. To so me and Tom are going to drag this goat get it, get it. back to the house and Over skin him up. Yeah. This is what? Arrayan. What is that? It's a really tart fruit. Um, it just finished flowering, so the fruit's not formed yet, but those are the flower buds there. You can see the papayas on the papaya tree. Yeah, papayas, plum trees back there. Yeah, those are all plums. And then we got mangoes and guanabanas and guayabas, and that's part of the reason I call it a cornucopia because just about everything you can imagine, I plant. And I was gonna say, did you have to plant all this, or did you just grow on itself? Get the compost out of the corral and start moving it over here with the chopped weeds, and I'm gonna plant horticulture in between the papayas. Okay, let's go over here to the to this tree, the hanging tree. Yeah, we're gonna hang them on this tree. Did you hang them, bleed them out? Yeah. Let's see now. Maybe we'll hang this guy up, slit his throat, and drink some coffee. And then we'll skin him. Alright. Let's see, we don't want to bleed all over the all right. rifle. To do that knee. Kind of expensive for a 22, is it? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You know, at the flea market. 
Do you wanna do you wanna mix some you wanna babe. make some coffee for yourself? You guys are I don't actually drink coffee. Okay. I'll have one. Okay, all you need to do here is rinse out the cup. Over there is the sink. It's probably pretty clean. Just look and see if it doesn't have any. Where is the sink at? My, my cats have been knocking my cups over and I hardly have any of them left. Uh, over here, there's the sink. And you can dip the water out with the... Give this a whirl here. Okay, here I'll pour the coffee for you. Then, uh, yeah, well, <coughs> you can make it as strong as you want. Usually, I, I, I drink a different kind of coffee, but I, the story was going to and getting it out at me. Do they all have it? It's a, I had an argument over them with the last one. I don't want to go over so long. Ooh, First, I took them in a leg and an arm, and they were very, very happy with them. And then I went and I did another day, and people already bought the legs for me. You know, so I went there, and I said, Hey, you want some? Blood? Oh, yeah. And, and she talked to her dad and said, Yeah, I want some. Another leg and arm. And said, hmm. and yeah, Let's, see. Let's see how this tastes here. Oh, okay. <sighs> Is this your bed? Growling at me. I sleep there sometimes, but I have a house up on the top of the hill over there where I normally sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is tricky. Why don't you uh, why don't you hold that? Yeah. And put it underneath it, and then I'll slam it down. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Down. Level it out. Yeah, Good. buddy. Nice. Off. Love it. <laughs> cool. There we go. Yeah. And you don't want to hit that. Uh, yeah. Well. That sack. Yeah. To get it out right. Well, I've been covered in shit before. I have the tank ready. So <laughs> I need to take a quick bath. <laughs> There's water in the hose. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, gutting a deer. That smell. Oh yeah. Oh, I get armadillos. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, I think it's about to fall out. Yeah. Oh, he was full, man. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. The kidneys out of this. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so that big sacks of stomach or the. Uh... Yeah, like four they just free range off the land, or? Take a picture. What do you see here? Mm -hmm. Just this. So I, I got a, a bag of food. I was actually going to tell you, but when I started diving for money and killing boxes and boxes of fish, lobster. My wife was pregnant. 
and I need the money. Certainly, in the other bucket, we need salt. We need salt. Do you yeah, see the spider? Those hairy ones. Those much, hairy caterpillars. Do you see the spider? Scorpion. Then brush up against one of those hairy caterpillars. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't go anywhere near those fuckers. Oh man. These are the freshest smelling limes I've ever smelled in my life, dude. Smell that? Yeah, yeah. I can smell them when I'm grabbing them. Oh wow. Those are fresh, man. So uh what do you what do you got going in here? Some livers or what? It's um, it's all that. liver, kidney, um, what else? The, the uh, pancreas, the testicles, and just basically the organs of uh -huh. the animal. Some red know. onion. Why do you fry that? Oh yeah, red onion, and uh, I was gonna put some peppers in there too, but you know what I meant? I meant. I got the onion and peppers. I meant ground peppers. Oh, sorry. But that's okay. <laughs> what we'll do, you know what we can do? Sorry, we can, I could have brought you pepper. We, we can splash it with teriyaki. There you go. I found out I got teriyaki the other day. This is a rock, huh? Or is that That's cement. I made it, made it out of cement. I built this. Oh, huh? you made it out of cement, yeah. I built this and I built the walls and everything. The roof I had a lot of help with, but I know how to do it. All right. <clears throat> Doug, tell me what we got in here. Oh. We got liver and heart and testicles. I think that's some. Um, so what's that? Um, that liver? That's liver. Can I try a piece of liver? Yeah, sure. Whatever you want, man. Yeah, that's good. I'll split it with you. Testicles, Tom, right? yeah. there we go. Here, you got, um, we got plates over here if you want. To we got goat liver killed. How long ago was this killed? An hour? No, Three hours? Three hours? I've been, I've been talking so much. Good? I can't believe how long no, it's not bad. Should have been done by 10. It's not 1 bad. o'clock now. And the poor goat's here. You got this. Oh. You need that? Finger food. And so, anyway. That was goat liver. Goat liver. Yeah. Mmm. Interesting That's texture. Exciting. Was that one? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. He loves yeah, it. Yeah, it's coming. Your know, well, liver's not too bad. No. Not terrible. Could use a little salt. Which one of the balls? Yeah, I gotta try some balls. That's part of the that's part of the nut sack. Mm -hmm. Tommy, trying some balls, bud? Trying some nut sack here, buddy. Give it a whirl. T tell me what you think. Not bad. No. It's kind of soft, but it tastes good. Hmm. I'm just finishing up some liver. I want to say it tastes like chicken, but it doesn't really taste like chicken. No. Where's some balls for me? I got to try some balls. Right here? Mm -hmm. It tastes clean. Like, it tastes fresh. Yeah. You know? It's hot. All right. Goat ball. Goat testicle. Like I'm, not even on, I'm not even on Fear Factor right now, and I'm eating goat balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this for any money. Just to do it. No <laughs> It is very soft. Yeah, but it's good though. It is good. It's better than the liver. Mm hmm. I think so. Reminds me of chicken hearts a little bit. Interesting. All right. So you cooked up the liver, the balls, and what else is there? Goat balls. Kidney. There's kidneys in there. Pancreas. You cooked the I gotta try one of each. What do you got? Mm, that's just like nice. I actually like goat balls. Yeah, a little a little salt garlic would go a long way with it too. Are... This is kidney. Oh, you got a huge. This is a kidney. What's this? But it's just a. <laughs> he likes the, he likes the, the smell of my goat balls. All right, what am I having? Well, this is kidney. This is kidney. Mm-hmm. I the liver or heart. I'm goat gonna... kidney. Goat kidney. So where's the pan? I think this is pancreas. Not sure. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. No, is that? Mm, you know, I, I started chopping it up so, in the so, little pieces. So, so you said this was pancreas? I'm not sure. I, I think goat kidney is my favorite. Watch away. Mm. This is onion. <laughs> I've never had it on any before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tastes like liver too. Would oh, you have liver? I think so. Mm. Oh. 
Goat kidney. Good. Part of the reason. Mmm. Mmm. What did you season up with this? Soy sauce and what? Just soy sauce and some salt and, uh, and uh, um, onion. Mmm. What else do I have? Pancreas? Mmm. Where's the pancreas at? Where is pancreas? I'm not sure. It looks like liver and pancreas are resemble when they're cooked. So, but the pancreas was thin, right? So it wouldn't be one of these fat pieces. All right. Well, you give me what you think it is. Um, I'm looking. Maybe this. This guy right here looks like a. It looks like it was thin. By you see both sides, because the pancreas is thin, right? It's like a, All right. Yeah, it looks like liver, pancreas. Pancreas so down the hatch. Oh, I guess the liver. The liver again. Yeah. Well, they, I think they, they taste pretty much the same. I haven't mean, really. Could be, huh? That's a lot. It's not as light of a meat or in color. You've been bad. You're going to eat liver. <laughs> when I was a kid, they used to have to force me to eat liver until I went deer hunting with this guy. And when we killed the deer, the first thing he wanted to do was eat the liver. And I was thinking, ah, why don't we cut off a chunk of real meat? And he goes, no, no. So I was kidding. Fresh liver is like my favorite. Highly recommend fresh goat. Well, here, here's a nut for you. Well, I had a nut. <laughs> that's all. That's all you, bud. I got my nut. I got my nut for the day. Uh, all of it was good, actually. I got, I got to say, like you know, as someone that doesn't normally try new things that easily, it was actually all pretty good. Yeah. All right, we are back in Punta de Mita at Tom's Airbnb Surfers Paradise. We got a whole leg of lamb marinated. About to throw it on the bobby. Let's go check it out. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. That goat went from the farm to butchered to Mita to on the grill in a total of five hours. And we had fresh kidney, liver, and testicles within about two hours of it being killed. Doesn't get much fresher than that. Excited to see how this turns out. We got Chef Mauro. Mauro, habla hola. Hola. <laughs> and he's wearing, see that? Twins hat, baby. Hooked him up. So now he's representing. He was wearing a Pittsburgh Pirates hat. I said, that's no good. He can't have him walking around with a Pittsburgh Pirates hat. So had to, had to get him set up proper with Minnesota Twins hat. So now he's looking good like me. <laughs> Chef Marl, take a peek on it in a minute. If this lamb on the grill wasn't enough, first of all, it's looking beautiful. We got Marl over here making a salsa. What's in there, Marl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿Qué hacen, ¿Qué hacen aquí? Salsa. Salsa. Salsita. Todo. Oh. ¿Qué es todo? Es todo cilantro, cebolla y naranja, naranjita. Orange, onion, cilantro. <laughs> a whole, a whole one. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Finally get to enjoy the product of our labor. Goat tacos, it's homemade salsa. Doesn't get much better than this. Well done. What do you think, Tom? Well done is the best. Absolutely the best. When it comes to goat, delicious. Got salsa, Marl made. Well, that's the bomb. Says it off. Surfer's Paradise, set up here. Grill out, meet people. How many rooms for rent, Tom? Five. Five rooms for rent. People from all over the world. I'm gonna have another taco. Hey y'all, hope you enjoyed that video of Doug's organic tree farm. The goat, everything, pretty wild. Kind of cool how he lives. I don't think I'd be able to live like that, but I take that back. I think I could live like that, but the wife would definitely have to be in agreement with it. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to do it alone, but I appreciate you watching it. Uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the, in the comment box. Um, hope you liked this video. If you haven't yet, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel to follow us for more stuff. 
Hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time we release a video. Much love, y'all. Appreciate you watching. Take care. See ya.